hello and welcome to my tutorial on fluid overflow what is fluid overflow very similar to the smart splitters and programmable splitters where you can say you know our clad sheet straight ahead and then left is overflow so when the center line gets saturated anything else extra can overflow and with that overflow what you can do is send the excess product to a sink like here now I'm in this demonstration the fluid overflow is all about being able to keep the excess heavy oil residue under control and why is that with a refinery you have two output products when we're talking about in this example I'm making fuel from heavy oil residue and the and it's the alternate heavy oil residue recipe now the output of that is both the polymer resin solid and the heavy oil residue fluid in this demonstration I am directly sinking the polymer resin into this sink here because I don't I want it to always be flowing in a proper production setup you would probably be turning this into plastic or rubber or fabric but even in that scenario for the machines that you're feeding the polymer resin into you would use like a smart splitter or a programmable splitter to distribute any overflow of the polymer resin into a sink that way the heavy oil residue doesn't back up uh, well, it doesn't back up and cause no heavy oil residue to be output on the same side of things if the heavy oil residue backs up then you have no polymer resin being made and you can't rely on that for making your plastic rubber or fabric there are different ways to address this topic this is a whole diluted fuel turbo fuel production line so we have the heavy oil residue comes to here and it mixes with the packaged water to make packaged fuel and that's all running perfectly fine here you can see the heavy oil residue is kind of backed up a bit but it's still actually running it's not fully backed up the fuel packaged fuel is being unpackaged here and then being sent down to the next set of machines to make the turbo fuel in this example I actually don't have anything connected to these turbo fuel generators so what's going to happen is at some point all of the turbo fuel generators the pipes are going to back up and there'll be no more turbo fuel being created this is the fuel feeding into a turbo fuel refinery if this fuel back when if this backs up because all of the turbo fuel is backed up going into the generators then the fuel will back up and with the fuel being backed up what will happen there is the packaged the unpackaged process will back up and what will happen there is the unpackaged the packaged fuel here will back up which will then back up the heavy the heavy oil residue now there are multiple ways you could deal with this situation you could for instance at this point here put a smart splitter or a programmable splitter and overflow the packaged fuel but overflowing the packaged fuel in this case would mean I would need to be introducing empty canisters into the system to maintain that canisters that are being removed from the system in this setup I've got here it's a closed loop canister system so I never have to have any more canisters added to the system which means I don't need to have a production process of canisters so in that case how do you deal with the heavy oil residue from being backed up and the way you deal with that is you can sink heavy oil residue by turning into coke it's a lot simpler than say you could package it as well but you would need a canister production set up to create the canisters package the excess heavy oil residue and then sink it whereas turning heavy oil residue into coke is really easy and it's then you can feed it straight into a sink so with that in mind how do you get the heavy oil residue to actually overflow when it backs up and that's what this little hump here is what's happening here right now is you can see that this heavy oil residue is moving backwards and forwards but it's never actually 
reaching the crest of the hump and then coming down again. And the reason for that is, here is the output of all my heavy oil residue and it comes to a pump. And this pump sets is, is distributing the heavy oil residue all the way down the line. Now, you don't necessarily need a pump, but from what I've been advised, it's a safe way to be sure it all works is to have a pump here. And it's a powered pump, so yes, it's four megawatts. So what happens is we're dealing with pressure. So the whole time that the heavy oil residue is flowing, the machines down the other end haven't backed up yet. The heavy oil residue is continuing to flow. However, as soon as the whole heavy oil residue backs up, then pressure will take over. Like it will build up, the fluid will build up, it will build up and then it'll crest over the top and then it will start to get sunk. The amount of refineries I've got here to turn the heavy oil residue into coke is the exact amount for the total amount of heavy oil residue that could ever be created per minute. That's a bit excess, but that's what I've done. Now, how do I prove it's working? I can wait until all that turbo fuel backs up, or we can just disconnect that pipe. So now, what will happen is this heavy oil residue is going to start to, to build up, and we can watch it here that as it backs up and it backs up all the way back to all the machines so the refineries that are making the heavy oil residue eventually and you can see this is getting bigger and bigger and then bang we've got some heavy oil residue that crested over the top and then that means that these refineries are starting to receive heavy oil residue and then they will start to turn it into coke and sink it what is the whole point of this the whole point of this is being able to deal with excess fluid like heavy oil residue when two outputs are coming from the production line of where the heavy oil residue is generated and in this case it's the polymer resin it's the other product so the polymer resin is necessary in other production lines for your plastic and rubber and so forth so in any situation here now that we have the overflow of the fluid our polymer resin will not back up and that part of our production line will continue so this allows you to have a completely configurable production line for your power because we know that fuel you create only gets proportionally used by the amount of the load on the generators so this allows for that variability so here's an example here once again if I put the pipe back we'll see pretty much all straight away that fluid's heading back down the line and the there's no longer fluid cresting over the top here and this collapses so this is a, a great solution it's one two three four high and it, it works perfectly the key here the pump is before the junction so it's even distrib distribution of the fluid now you could have this hump way down at the other end if you want if you had a manifold set up or wherever it could be anywhere along the heavy oil residue line i've just put it here to demonstrate easily because it's near those refineries you could you can of course use this overflow fluid mechanism for other things such as the fuel or the turbo fuel but to deal with that product on the overflow means that you need to package it and then sink it and the whole goal here is we can use refineries to turn the heavy oil residue into a solid product and then sink it and it's a pretty straightforward process i hope you find this information useful and i look forward to catching up with you soon bye